probably the biggest announcement so far. We're still early. Sundar Pichai said that the company is launching AI overviews and search across the U.S. this week. Google first and just kind of set the stage here at the developer conference yesterday showing off the latest AI features. Today, we're introducing Gemini 1.5 Flash. The world of AI is in a constant state of flux with companies pushing the boundaries of what these powerful tools can achieve. Google, a leader in the field, just dropped a bombshell with the surprise release of Gemini 1.5 Flash. This new model isn't just another update. It promises to be as powerful as Gemini Pro and Google's other Gemini models, but also way faster. Stay tuned, because we're about to dive into what makes this new development so groundbreaking. Google's new Gemini 1.5 Flash shocks the industry. Last December, Google introduced Gemini 1.0, and made the Gemini API available for enterprise customers through Google AI Studio and Vertex AI. This was a big step forward in AI technology. Then in February, Google launched Gemini 1.5 Pro, a powerful model that can handle a huge amount of information at once, thanks to its 1 million token context window. By April, Google had added even more features to Gemini. These included the ability to understand audio natively, follow system instructions, and work with JSON mode, which is a format for structuring data. At the same time, Google introduced Gemma, a family of smaller open models built from the same research and technology behind the Gemini models. These lightweight models are designed to be easily used by developers and researchers. Since their release in February, the 2B and 7B Gemma models have been downloaded millions of times. Last month, Google added new variants like Code Gemma, which is geared towards coding applications, and Recurrent Gemma, which focuses on tasks that involve recurring data. Both Gemini and Gemma are continuously improving, providing powerful tools for developers and researchers to advance their projects and innovations. These advancements by Google show how AI is becoming more accessible and powerful, helping businesses and researchers to solve complex problems more efficiently. Now, Google has announced an exciting new model called Gemini 1.5 Flash. This announcement was made at the annual Google I.O. Developer Event. The Gemini family of models is expanding, and Gemini 1.5 Flash is the latest addition. This new model is designed to handle tasks that require quick responses. It's built to be both small and multimodal, meaning it can process different types of data. With a context window of 1 million tokens, it can understand and respond to large amounts of information very quickly. Gemini 1.5 Flash is now available to the public through the Gemini API, which you can access in Google AI Studio. Interestingly, the new small language model was revealed just one day after one of Google's biggest AI competitors, OpenAI, introduced a new multimodal large language model named GPT-40. But that's not the only news from Google. Sundar Pichai, Google's CEO, announced that Gemini 1.5 Pro, which was first introduced in February, is getting a major upgrade. The model's context window is being expanded from 1 million tokens to 2 million tokens. The context window is essentially how much information the model can keep in mind at once. This upgrade is very important. A larger context window means the model can remember and process a lot more information within a single conversation. This is especially important when analyzing non-text content. For example, when looking at an image or a video, there is a lot of information to consider. An image can be described with thousands of words, and a video contains even more details. With the expanded context window, Gemini 1.5 Pro can handle and analyze this massive amount of information more effectively. The competition in the AI field is heating up with new models and significant upgrades. Features of Gemini 1.5 Flash The new Gemini 1.5 Flash model is designed to be lighter and more efficient than its predecessor, the Gemini 1.5 Pro. Despite its smaller size, the Gemini 1.5 Flash is incredibly powerful. One of the standout features of the Gemini 1.5 Flash is its ability to perform multimodal reasoning. This means it can process and understand different types of information simultaneously, such as text, images, audio, and video. For example, it can analyze a text document while also interpreting an accompanying image or chart, making it very versatile. This means you can mix and match different kinds of content when you're working with it. Even though it's a more compact model, the Gemini 1.5 Flash delivers high-quality performance at impressive speeds. 
This means it can quickly analyze large amounts of information and provide accurate results, which is especially useful in situations where time and efficiency are crucial. Its ability to quickly process and make sense of this information makes it a valuable tool for various applications, from scientific research to business analytics. This makes the Gemini 1.5 Flash an impressive addition to the world of AI technology. It is also a great choice for natural interaction. Imagine you're running a customer service chatbot for a company. Customers ask questions, and the chatbot needs to respond quickly and accurately. That's where the Gemini 1.5 Flash comes in handy. It's designed to provide real-time responses, meaning it can answer questions from customers almost instantly. This is super helpful because it keeps the conversation flowing smoothly and keeps customers happy. Now, let's talk about image generation. Sometimes you need to create images on the fly, maybe for social media posts or marketing materials. With the Gemini 1.5 Flash, you can do this fast. This is great for businesses that need to create visuals quickly to engage their audience. Gemini 1.5 Flash is the go-to option for getting things done quickly and efficiently. One of the coolest things about the Gemini 1.5 Flash is that it's really good at a bunch of different tasks. For example, it's great at summarizing information, which means it can take a long document or a big table of data and condense it down into the most important points. It's also awesome for chat applications like talking to a virtual assistant or chatting with friends. Plus, it's good at adding captions to images and videos, which can be helpful for accessibility or just adding extra context. The reason the Gemini 1.5 Flash is so good at all these things is that it's been trained by the Gemini 1.5 Pro model. The 1.5 Pro model taught the 1.5 Flash model all the important things it knows, but in a way that makes the Flash model smaller and more efficient. This model is not only the fastest in the Gemini family, but it's also more cost efficient to use. The Gemini 1.5 Flash model offers top-notch quality at a lower price. Compared to the Gemini 1.5 Pro model, which costs a lot more, the Flash model is much cheaper. In fact, it's about 20 times less expensive than the Pro model. When it comes to everyday tasks, the Flash model can deliver results that are just as good as those from larger and pricier models. This means you can trust it to perform just as well, whether you're summarizing text, generating captions for images, or chatting with a virtual assistant. The Gemini 1.5 Flash model has an impressive ability to understand long pieces of information. For example, Gemini 1.5 Flash can handle hours of video and audio content. This means it can watch or listen to a full hour of video or up to 11 hours of audio and understand what's happening. But that's not all. Gemini 1.5 Flash is also great at understanding text and code. It can handle code bases with more than 30,000 lines of code, which is like reading through a long book of programming instructions. Plus, it can process over 700,000 words of text, which is like reading several novels back to back. Gemini 1.5 Flash versus Gemini 1.5 Pro. There are some important distinctions between Gemini 1.5 Flash and Gemini 1.5 Pro. Each model serves a different purpose, depending on what you need it for. Gemini 1.5 Flash is designed for tasks where speed is crucial. If you need quick results and low latency, this is the model for you. It's a speedy assistant that can handle simple tasks with lightning fast efficiency. On the other hand, Gemini 1.5 Pro is a bit heavier and more robust. It's comparable to Google's large 1.0 Ultra model, which means it's powerful and versatile. This model is better suited for general or complex tasks that require multi-step reasoning. It's a reliable assistant that can tackle a wide range of challenges with ease. Josh Woodward, Google's Vice President of Google Labs, recommends using Gemini 1.5 Flash for tasks that need to be done quickly, while Gemini 1.5 Pro is better suited for more general or complex tasks that require deeper analysis and reasoning. Developers now have more options when it comes to choosing AI models, rather than sticking to a one-size-fits-all approach. Google offers a range of AI models, catering to different needs and preferences. From the lightest models like Gemma and Gemma 2, to more advanced ones like Gemini Nano, Gemini 1.5 Flash, Gemini 1.5 Pro, and Gemini 1.0 Ultra, there's something for every developer. Different apps have different needs, and having a variety of AI capabilities can greatly impact how users interact with AI-powered services. Despite their differences in size and complexity, 
all these models share the same multimodal input capabilities and long context understanding. They also run on the same backend infrastructure, ensuring consistent performance across the board. Google has found a way to provide developers with cutting edge AI models, while also making them faster and more efficient. This means developers can access advanced AI technology without sacrificing performance. Currently, both Gemini 1.5 models are available in public preview in more than 200 countries and territories worldwide. This includes regions such as the European Economic Area, the UK, and Switzerland. They are set to be generally available to developers in June, offering even more accessibility and opportunities for developers to leverage advanced AI capabilities in their applications. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.